On this episode of BevNerd, oh, okay, BevNerd, you'll see a blind taste comparison between the new Big Red Zero versus the old Diet Big Red. Just like the model Rick Martell versus Jake the Snake Roberts, we're having a blindfold match on this episode of BevNerd. Coming up! Hey everybody, welcome to BevNerd. This is episode 78 for January 16th, 2012. I'm your host Jason Coleman, and uh, this is BevNerd. It is a web show dedicated to soft drinks, snack foods, uh, eating them, drinking them, and telling you about them and give you my opinion. Um, we've made it another episode. Congratulations. If you haven't yet, go to BevNerd.com. The name is our address. Um, that's where all the videos are. If you're on Facebook, go to Facebook.com slash BevNerd. And if you're on Twitter, follow us at BevNerd. So uh, that way you're in the know, you're connected to all things BevNerd. And um, you'll have one up on your grandma. So um, definitely check those things out. Um, today I'm actually pretty excited. Um, the first ever, like, blind comparison taste test um, between Big Red Zero, the new drink, versus Diet Big Red, which was boop, boop, boop replaced by Big Red Zero. Now, I'm a big fan of Big Red Soda, the full flavor with all the sugars in its glory. I really like it a lot. And um, I follow Big Red on Twitter, that's at Drink Big Red, and they um, asked about their new drink, Zero, and they sent me some. And uh, I tried it on BevNerd previously, and it got the oh-so-dreaded thumbs down and fart noise. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Now, um, Big Red's really cool. They're really good sports. Um, I kind of felt bad because I really love Big Red, and I, I felt bad because I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to like it, but I just didn't. But good news, I talked to the rep from Big Red, their PR person, and they were nice enough to send me Diet Big Red because um, there's a reason it's getting replaced. This one must taste better than this one, so they wanted me to come back and do a follow up on the old flavor versus the new. To, to see that it's actually an improved flavor over the old formula. So, um, and the reason for the, 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 the lamb eyeball cover is because I want this, I don't want any previous biasness on my behalf on Big Red Zero. I want to take in these two beverages um, and not know which one's which, that way my brain won't associate one with the other. So, that, that should be good, right? Now, if you didn't know, Big Red is a red cream soda, which I've tried before, and like like I've said, and it's like, it's got your vanilla, it's got like a tutti-frutti, strawberry goodness to it. It kind of tastes like bubblegum, too. So it's like all those flavors. Um, I like it a lot. It's very unique, and um, definitely something I'd want to try, but if, like I said, if, we, if I can't drink sugars or I'm watching my calories, I would need an alternative, and we got to see what the alternative is like, right? So, um... I'm going to uh, go ahead and put my blindfold on. I'm going to try to do this as honest and as real as possible. I can't see anything. Even when I look down, I can only see like parts of the floor. Uh, so I'll lower this some. And I, I, I have horrible memory. I've had concussions during my wrestling career. I, I don't even remember which one's which um, in my hand. They, they, they're both in the same plastic bottle. And, uh, and I'm sorry if I'm like not centered because I can't see where I am. But um, here's um, drink number one. When I'm done with this, I'm going to set it to my right and then I'm going to set the second one to... M <laughs> I'm going to set... Yeah, you got it. Okay. These are both have been in my fridge, so they're cold. Well, first off, it, it, had, it has a carbonation test that it passed. It's carbonated. I definitely smell Big Red. I smell the vanilla. I smell like a, the bubblegum sensation that I like, and then which is trademarked with Big Red. Mm. Super carbonated, a little bit more carbonated than the regular kind, with sugar. It's light in consistency. It has a very distinct Big Red flavor, and I like it. Um, the what, what the main problem with the first one, the, the zero review is it had a very very strong 
uh, diet aftertaste. I had, I think, three artificial sweeteners. That could have been um, uh, attributing to the overwhelming aftertaste. Um, so here's drink two. I've opened it up. It, I did hear carbonation go psh, just a little bit. I can hear it right now. It's very bubbly. And I can still hear it, little pops and fizzes where the other one I didn't. This one's very distinct. I don't even have to look for it or listen for it. Mmm. This one definitely, although it tastes stronger, or it smells stronger in Big Red smell, I think the Big Red signature flavor is a little bit weaker in this one. <laughs> and uh, somehow I put the lid on it. Okay. They're still in the same hands. This is still drink one. Yeah. Wow, whatever this one is, it's like, it's lacking in the flavor department versus this one on my left. It's very bland, really. Um, and, and it does have, um, it kind of tastes like, I. It's kind of like straight up like club soda with like drops of big red flavor in there. It's kind of underwhelming. Although I think it is a little bit more carbonated, but that doesn't help if it doesn't really have much of a taste to it. The, um, I'm Burp City over here. Now, okay, here's what I'm thinking. This one, this one right here has more big red flavor. It tastes stronger. I believe it tastes better. There is a diet aftertaste, but it's not overwhelming like I got before. This one, uh, the big red flavor is weak. It's got more carbonation. And the diet aftertaste isn't very strong. I definitely get a little bit more in this one, but this one right here tastes better than this one. So, um, I'm going to take my blindfold off. Look at that! Diet Big Red is definitely not better than Big Red Zero. So, so there you go, kids. That's, it doesn't get more real than that. Here's my final thought. Now that I have a, a drink to compare Big Red Zero to, it's a vast improvement over the old formula. And I am willing to retract my thumbs down and <clears throat> because... I would rather give that to that because I like this a lot more. I don't know if it's because it's in a plastic bottle. The it's just not it's it's not overwhelming. Like I don't know. I feel like I was getting choked out by the aftertaste before. Whereas this one, it's a lot more subtle. It's there. It's there by goodness. But it's not. It's like not even half as strong as it was in the can. Maybe it's just because that was the first line of cans of Big Red Zero that they've made. That this one maybe got tweaked just a little bit. I don't know. But I will recommend Big Red Zero after all, definitely, after tasting this. We can give this to uh, Peter Venkman because he can enjoy that a lot more than I will. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Special thanks to Big Red. You can check out their website at, you can check out their website at BigRed.com. They're also on Facebook, and you can connect with them like I did and let them know what you think about Big Red Zero directly on Twitter at DrinkBigRed. Very, very thankful for this comparison because... People need to see this. Definitely. And um, so, yeah, that about wraps up this episode of Bear Nerd. Um, coming soon in 2012, I've, we've got, we're working on a brand new show here at the Bear Nerd Network. It's J Bear versus Craft Beer. It's my pal J Bear, who is a, he's, he's going to give dedicated beer reviews because he's a dedicated drinker. Something like that. Um, and also, check out momofcon.com. Uh, it's a anime, comic book, and gaming convention in Atlanta in March 16th, 17th, and 18th. If I had that wrong, uh, kick me in the face. But uh, Bevner will be there presenting a panel. How exciting is that? Give him away goodies and can't wait to meet all youngs in that neck of the woods. Bye, everybody.